Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Bonjour, mes frères et mes sœurs en Christ. Jambo ba dada na ba ba baba mki Christu. Buenos dias. Good morning. It is good to uh, uh, to be in the uh, in this month of June, and I thank God because the Bible reminded us this is the day the Lord has made. We should be glad and rejoice in it. So let us rejoice and be glad the day the Lord has given to you and me. My hope and prayer is that you're doing fine. May God be with us as we, we go together through this service and whatever you are or later you're going to watch this. Um, uh, may God really bless you, my brothers and sisters in Christ. That being said, I would love to, uh, to thank the church for uh, taking your time to come and celebrate the life of our youth who graduated this year 2020. It has been uh, a blessing and seeing uh, cars passing by and, and giving the gifts to our our future leaders and uh, we are praying for them to um, to remain focused as they are making decisions what they're gonna do next may God really bless the church for everything for everything you do uh, friend that being said I'm just gonna um, gonna share this uh, piece of song uh, sung by Brian and Jill. Uh, we are so blessed to, uh, to have um, these wonderful children of God. And, um, you know, the song that you're going to sing, I love it. And you heard me saying, God is always good. Friend, God is always good. Whether you like it or not, he's always good. The goodness of God cannot be taken in and out by what we go through or by what we have. God is always good even when we struggle. Even when we don't struggle, God is still, is always good. So let's uh, listen to this song together. <laughs> I know you. 
trust the Lord. I love it. Because God is so with God is always good. I'm inviting you to pray with me right now. Let us pray for our country. You have you you have you have heard what is happening in our nation, in our country. We don't need to name it, but you know and you have seen it. Let us pray for healing. Let us pray for justice. Let us pray for God, righteousness to flow in people's heart. Let us pray for our church as well as we are moving through this transition. Lift up also your prayer requests. And we are also encouraging, the, we are encouraging you, if you do have any prayer requests you want to share with us, please uh, uh, call the church. And um, Regina is going to share with us. or call my number or Pastor Rob's number. May God bless us. Shall we pray together? Eternal God, holy and living Father, I thank you for this morning. I bless you because, God, you are so good. And you are always good. Lord Jesus, we thank you for this month of June. We bless your living name, God, knowing that, God, you are in front of this month for each and every child of yours. Father, we pray for forgiveness. We have sinned against you in so many ways. Through our speech, our desires, our feelings, the way we do things, the way we looked at each other. Lord, the good thing is you read our heart. That's where, God, our sinful way are buried. That's why, God, we ask you right now to forgive us. Forgive us, Lord, from what we do in Jesus' name. Help us to forgive each other for the sake of your glory, Spirit of God. Lord, I pray right now. I pray right now, God. Let Pentecosts take place in our lives. Let Pentecost take place in the life of my brothers and sisters, Almighty God. Let Pentecosts take place in our nation. For the day when Pentecost took place, things changed. People who denied you preached the word like Peter. Leaders who were confused, they start following you. That's why, Lord, today I pray in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Let Pentecost take place. Do it again, Lord. Do it again at Mount Hope United Methodist Church. Do it again in our societies. Let Pentecost take place in our societies. Let Pentecost take place in the White House. Let Pentecost take place in our homes. Let Pentecost take place in every single ministry at Mount Hope United Methodist Church. Let Pentecost take place in this world. Do it again, Lord. Do it again. We give you glory. Let Pentecost take place in this month of June. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let Pentecost take place, oh God, as we go through this service. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We bless you, God. Let Pentecost take place in our street, in our shops. Let Pentecost take place, oh mighty God, everywhere. For the glory of your name. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I lift up, Almighty God, my brothers and sisters, and whatever they are going through right now, hear their prayers. Come for them and heal them, Lord. Deliver them from any struggle they are, they are going through right now in Jesus' name. Let Pentecost take place in their lives. Thank you, Jesus. We bless you. We worship you for who you are. In Jesus' name.
In Jesus' name, we thank you for Pentecost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, we pray together and we say, Amen. Brothers and sisters in Christ, uh, before we share the word the Lord has given to us this morning, I just want to remind the congregation that this Sunday, this coming Sunday, we are going to celebrate the life of our brother, our pastor, the ministry he has done, the way God used him at Mount Hope United Church. So we are, you are being invited at one o'clock on Sunday. Yes, to come and drive by and goodbye in our parking lot. And at the same time, we are also encouraging the congregation to, uh, to share your love gift with uh, your pastor, your minister, your brother who serve God and serve with you together. You share it by, you know, mailing a check or uh, giving online. Uh, you have to be very specific that this is for Pastor Rob or any gifts. We, uh, we, we are going to, at uh, the church, we are, we, we are going to be blessed by your giving. May God bless you, my brothers and sisters in Christ. That being shared, let us prepare our heart with the word. My brothers and sisters in Christ, today I will speak about being shaken for shifting. Let me share this word. I, I had to put it on the screen. Being shaken for shifting. That's the word the Lord has given to us being shaken for shifting. The COVID-19. Now we are facing today. And things we are facing today. We are being shaken for shifting. Let us pray. Eternal God, Holy and living Father, I humble myself before your throne of grace to acknowledge a day like this that has been planned, ordained by you. Lord, I pray for my brothers and sisters who are watching right now and those who watch later. I pray, God, let Pentecost take place in their heart so that God, the heart may be ready to receive your word and grow in their lives for your glory. Prepare our hearts, Lord, to receive your word and let that word grow in our lives for your glory. Father, as I stand before your children and speak with them and to them, May you be increased as I decrease. In Jesus' name, amen. This COVID-19 pandemic is something we have never experienced before. Where the economic world is shaking. The church are closing. Schools are offered online. People were not going to work. We're not able to go to work. Our social lives are being shaken. And to add to that, even at Mount Hope United Methodist Church, our pastoral positions are being shaken. With all this in our minds, we are, in our minds, we are just shaken up. Friends, in life there are times where things 
shakes us up in our core, in our essential, in life. Things like, you know, unexpected illness, unexpected broken relationship. You never thought about that. Unexpected death where we are losing our loved one. Unexpected change we are facing today. Things were just going well at the beginning of the year 2020. Children were doing great. People were planning trips to travel. Our financial life were, were doing great. But suddenly, suddenly, things have changed because of this unexpected COVID-19 medical pandemic. Because of this. And recently, we have all, we are now also experiencing unexpected things that we are seeing on TVs and what we are hearing, protesters all over the United States. Nobody thought about that. Friend, my brothers and sisters in Christ, it is easy to get discouraged and wonder how it happens and how you will leave again. But, here is the key. The shaking is not there to stop us. The shaking is there to shift us. I do believe that God does use this shaking to get us into a position for a new level. I believe that. I want you to see something. So it can help you to believe as I believe. Without the church door closing, we will not get out of our comfort zone at all. Without the church door closing, you will never get out of your gossip zone. Let me say it. Without the church door closing, you will never listen to God better. Without the church door closing, we'll never learn how to pray, how to stay in prayer every day. Without the church door closing, we'll never appreciate the service online. Without the church door closing, who we'll never learn how important it is to call your brothers and sisters just to say, hello, how are you doing? Without the church door closing, who we'll never see how blessed we are as an international church with people from different countries, more than 10 countries at Mount Hope United Methodist Church. You'll never appreciate that. Because as I speak to you, my brothers and sisters, sometimes you sit down in your couch or in your backyard, you say, oh my goodness, I miss children choir. Oh my goodness, I miss chancel choir. Oh my goodness, I miss this gathering where we eat different food from different parts of the world. You'll never appreciate that. Friend, we may not like it, but the shaking is forcing us to change, forcing us to grow in faith, forcing us to appreciate God's blessing. The shaking is forcing us to reset our heart with God. If everything was remaining as it was, 
we will never reach our potential. Stay open and focus on Jesus Christ for something new that is coming. Do not go back to the same way you used to do things. The reason why God is allowing this shaking is for a shifting into something better. Something where Jesus Christ must be centered first. Stay focused on Jesus Christ during this shaking. God shakes things up so that we can have a better life with Jesus Christ and with one another. Sometimes the shaking we, we face looks like a setback, but it is a setup where God is using us, is using it to shift you and I so that we may go together where we are going. Friend, there is this guy who was also experiencing the shaking. He's a well-known guy, Peter. When we read the book of Luke chapter 22, I'm not going to read everything, but I just want to, uh, just to, to tell you what happened in the life of Peter. Peter denied Jesus Christ three times. But watch what happened in the book of Acts chapter, chapter 2, verses 1. Verses 1 to 2. It's not 22. They're just verses 1 to 2. When the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Suddenly, a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. Friends, we hear this guy, Peter, deny Jesus Christ three times, was also among the people who experience, receive the Holy Spirit. Something happened after receiving the Holy Spirit. They started doing the amazing and the wonderful things in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. But uh, watch out, my friends. Something happened when we read Acts chapter 8, the book of Acts chapter 8, a man called Saul, known today by the name of Paul came along and start persecuting Christians. It was terrible, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Paul went to any Christian gathering, Bible studies, small groups, community services, prayer groups, Sunday worship. Paul went to all these groups, arrested them, and some were killed. They could not stop him. By the way, he had a letter from the government to have them arrested and put them in jail. Oh my God. The scripture says that the disciples were doing well. They were doing wonders, preaching the gospel, of Jesus Christ with people. But out of nowhere, this guy Paul starting to show up and turn things around. Out of nowhere. 
Paul was going to Jerusalem to arrest them all who were preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. Friend, it was terrible. It was like what we are facing today. The entire world was shaken those days as we are shaken today with this COVID-19 pandemic. Paul did shake them up. Paul did shake them up. Friend, I'm sure the disciples did think about God, asking God questions. God, where are you? Where are you? Do you see what Paul is doing? How much trouble he did bring to us while preaching your word and doing good. Friend, God could stop Paul to do what he was doing because God is so powerful. We are worshiping a God who was able to open the Red Sea and people were able to go through without any engineer. We are worshiping a God who was able to feed thousands of people without any fishing lake and baking machine to bake bread. We are worshiping a God who was able to use Mary as the mother of Jesus Christ without any relationship with the human being. God is so powerful. God could send angels to protect the people, but God did not do it. He did not. Wow. Friend, Sometimes God allows things in our lives to be shaken up. God allowed the disciples to go through that shaken time. Paul shook them up. But I want you to know something. Something happened. Something happened. In chapter 9, in the book of Acts, I want to read this. In chapter 9, verses 5 to 6, something happened in the life of Paul. Paul was in, on his road to Damascus. And here, what happened? Who are you, Lord? So ask, I am Jesus whom we are persecuting, he replied. Now, get up and go into the city. You will be told what you must do. Wow. Something happened. God visited Paul. God called Paul to serve him. God called Paul to start preaching the good news with uh, the disciples. God called Paul to start healing the sick, praying for the sick. God called Paul to start serving him with the disciples. Wow. Friends, my brothers and sisters in Christ, sometimes God will allow the shaking in our Christian faith journey as, as he did allow Paul to shake the disciples up. Friend, it was indeed a difficult situation for the disciples and people in those days. It was difficult. You have to understand that the shaking is not there to stop you and me, but to shift us as it happened to the disciples. Their shaking was 
for shifting with Paul to preach the gospel. And today we are reading all these books we, you know, the book of James, the book of First and Second Corinthians, because of the guy who shook the disciples up, Paul. Paul. Friend, this shaking is not here to stop us believing in God who can do things. But uh, it is getting you onto a position to get a new level of faith. This shaking is getting us a new level of seeing things we have never seen before. This shaking is getting us a new level of praying, a new level of, of, of putting our hope and trust in Jesus Christ, a new level of giving for God's glory, a new level of reading the Bible, a new level of, uh, of blessings, this shaking. If you see this shaking as a setback, then you will start living with worries. But when you see this shaking as a shift to a new level of faith, then you will live for God's glory. My brothers and sisters in Christ, Anyone can trust God and can say, I believe in God. I believe in Jesus Christ 100%. Anyone, anyone can say, I love Jesus Christ too much when things are going better and going on their ways. But when things are shaking up, will you trust God 100%? When things are shaking up, will you put hope in him 100%? When things are shaking up, will you stay in faith? When there is uncertainty, when things are shaking up, will you stay faithful to God? When you do face the things you do not understand, will you? Friend, God has you and I in his palms of hand. Nothing can happen to you and me without him knowing it and understanding it. We need to trust him, have faith in him, and keep on worshiping him and serving him during this shaking time. We need to stop trying to understand God because you never understand God. My brothers and sisters in Christ, this is shaking it is for shifting. Stay in prayer. Keep on trusting God. Stay faithful to God. Then you will embrace the shifting. The shaking is for what is ahead of us, which is greater. Let me say it again. Let me say it again. The shaking is for us, for what is ahead of us, which is greater. God is working beyond this shaking. Things are working out without you seeing it but only God. This shaking may tell you that the ministry at Mount Hope United Methodist Church will fail. This shaking may tell you that your financial situation will not be good at all. This shaking may tell you that your life and visions are done. But let me encourage someone this morning that this shaking is for something new. This shaking is for your healing. This shaking is for your next level of doing things differently. This shaking is for your blessing for our church. 
I can go on and on. This shaking is for us to reset our heart with God. You will see something that you have never seen before. Stay focused on Jesus Christ and stay faithful to God's word. There are things that God has already prepared for us ahead. Things we can only see after going through this shaking. There are people, my brothers and sisters in Christ, you will see only after going through this shaking. There are people God already prepared for you, but you only going to see them in, after this shaking. People, you will love you only after going through this shaking. People, you will come into your life to help you only after going through this shaking. People will come and help you to get a job only after going through this shaking. People who will come into your life to have the ministry at Mount Hope Canaan Methodist Church only after going through this shaking. These people, my brothers and sisters, what I'm saying is, these people, they will come in our shifting, not in our shaking. People who have ministered at Mount Hope, they will come only in our shifting, not in our shaking. People will come and love you. They will come in your shifting, not in your shaking. Your blessings are in the shifting, not in the shaking. Friend, I believe that I share that with you, but I want to share it again. I never knew and thought that I would be serving God as a pastor. I used to work in a big company, AAC mining company, where we used to mine diamonds, gold, copper, and silver. I used to work in that company. And I, 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 I work as an administrator of a company. And by the way, we started that company from zero with people from outside of my country. And I was the first Congolese to be hired. But out of nowhere, I was enjoying my life. I was enjoying my work, trying to plan everything. But out of nowhere, God kept on calling me. Friend, I had to resign. I had to resign to follow, to follow God's calling. I had to resign. I had to leave my wife for three years in Africa. I had to leave my family members. I had to leave friends. We grew up together. I had to leave the people we started that company together. I had to leave. I was shaken up. Even when I was trying to bring my wife to America, the US immigration shook me up. Friend, it was a shaking time for me. It was hard. But I uh, I kept on worshiping God. I kept on trusting God and having faith in him, believing that this is just a shaking for shifting. Look at today. Today, 
after going through this shake, shaking, and God has brought me into ship. I uh, was was planning to bring me into uh, in in. He was shifting me. Now today I do have brothers and sisters from more than ten countries at Mount Hope United Methodist Church. And God has given me another brother from a, from a different mother, Brother Rob Cook. Why? Because I accepted the shaking. And I could only see this by accepting the shaking. I had to go through shaking for a shifting. I had to be, I had to have my brother in my shifting. I had to have the family that I have right now from more than 10 countries in my shifting, not in my shaking. So brothers and sisters in Christ, God is shaking things up so that he can shift us toward him in this troubling time we are facing right now. God is shaking things up to allow us to embrace the shifting. Remember, whatever you are going right now, I want you to see it as a shaking for shifting. Whatever you go in your future, whether it's a difficult time, or a blessing time. It's just a shaking for shifting. So God is doing something during our shaking. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let's pray. They are precious God. Holy and living Father. I thank you for your word that you have given to me and you have given to my brothers and sisters. Lord, we pray for our Holy Spirit to help us understand that the shaking is for shifting. To help us, Almighty God, understand that in the shifting, you will send people to help us in our lives in our ministry, in the shifting, there will be people who are going to love us, who love them too. And I pray for Mount Hope United Church to embrace the shaking for a shifting, for the sake of your glory. I pray for my brothers and sisters in Christ who are going through something. Let your Holy Spirit have them understand that the shaking is for shifting. We give you glory and we bless your living name. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, friends. Uh, uh, we are, we are, we as a church, we are always encouraging uh, Christians, uh, brothers and sisters, to give as God calls you. Giving is part of worshiping. Uh, just give as God is speaking to you as you're worshiping God through giving. Uh, we are so grateful for your giving to sustain this ministry. May God bless you uh, and may God be with you. Now I'm going to invite my brother um, uh, Jacob to give us a closing song.
For you have never failed me yet. Your promise still stands. Great is your faithfulness, your faithfulness. I'm still in your hands. This is my God. Thank you, Brother Jacob, for this song. Thank you for this song. Our spirit has been lifted up through this music. Let's receive benediction. I want you to take your right hand and put it in your heart. 
Let us pray. Eternal creator, sustainer, redeemer, thank you for your word. Lord Jesus, I pray for my brothers and sisters in Christ to fully understand and experience their shaking for a shifting. Bless each and every child of yours and speak through them, Lord. I pray as they are holding their hands on their heart, show them their beauty. Show them your beauty. Show them, Lord, in, your heart, in their hearts your beauty. Show us that beauty. Even though we are going through this shaking, we give you glory, we bless your living name. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name. We pray together and we say, Amen. Go in peace. May, may, uh, may God bless you. Uh, may God um, give you the strength to, uh, to accept the shaking for shifting. In Jesus' name.